Howdy, Beautiful Bart here, and welcome to we, episode 2 of SnowRunner. Tips for getting started and planning ahead for just maximizing our fun. So one thing I want to do is go to my truck storage. We've already got our CK1500 deploy. We've got everything else uh, retained in our garage. I'm going to look at our local map, and the next big tip you really need to take into consideration is to go ahead and take a scout truck, run around, and get all of your watchtowers and upgrades. Now we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven towers. Okay, and we see one upgrade here. However, I also know that there is a free truck sitting up here and there's a free truck sitting right over here but there's also one really important upgrade that we need to get first that will be quite handy and I'll get it and then come back to the garage install it and then I'll go around and I'll make the loop to get all of the uh, the visible watchtowers and upgrades in this video so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure that for the sake of the video we are in the daytime. Really, this game needs a um, method of locking the day-night cycle. I'll never quit asking for that. So, coming out of the garage, come over here, and yeah, these are not going to be great hires at all, because we just started off playing fresh. So, run over here. Now, we did go ahead and put our uh, really expensive autonomous winch on here, and the naming conventions of some of the things in the game really annoy me, but I'm old and grumpy and lots of things annoy me. What they're meaning by autonomous winch versus the other type of winches available for scout vehicles and vehicles in general in the game. An autonomous winch, what that actually is, is a standard electric winch. And what that means is the winch, which is not a cosmetic item on these vehicles, is run off of the battery power. And technically speaking, you can run it without having your vehicle turned on or the engine running because it's running solely from battery power. However, it will drain your battery relatively quickly, so yeah, you want to use it sparingly. You can run it with the engine running, but you can also use it with the engine off as well. And that's the whole point of what they mean by their autonomous winch. Again, I'm not a real big fan of the naming convention. However, uh, the rest of the winches are not that way. And the only thing that I can say that there would be close to is actually going to be a PTO winch, or power takeoff, which means you have your engine, your transmission, your transfer case, drive shaft, and axles. Well, there's another gearbox that basically disengages the output of your transmission that it would go to your, your tires. Instead, it powers another gearbox, which runs another shaft, which goes to the winch itself. So it must use the engine, the actual engine running, to power the winch itself. So that's the difference between autonomous winches and the rest of the winches in this game. And um, there never would have been a PTO winch installed on a Chevrolet 1500 pickup. Yeah. Because apparently the devs don't know how to use a wiki. So now, just past the gas station, around this corner, we're going to turn here. And I know that this upgrade that I want is right down there to my right hand side. But, but it can't just be easy to get to. It's tempting to just drive through the trees right there, but I'm going to go up a little bit farther and I'm going to turn off road right here. Then just kind of pick your poison. You can get through multiple different ways, just however you feel like you can make it. With this truck, I just turn the all-wheel drive on, or four-wheel drive on, 
Because this truck would have been equipped with four-wheel drive, and not all-wheel drive. Actually, I own a vehicle that most people think would be a four-wheel drive, but it is not. It is an all-wheel drive. It's a Jeep Grand Cherokee, the 1998 Grand Cherokee 5.9 Limited. It was specifically built as a all-wheel drive vehicle instead of four-wheel drive. So doing this method, you're going to get underwater a little bit. Just roll. You can see the icon keeps popping up over there. But this upgrade is well worth coming to get. Pull up, hit C, hit the X key to show what it is. It is the SnowRunner gearbox. So I'm going to hit Enter, and then I'm going to go ahead and just go back to the garage because I want that on here. Go to Customize, Gearbox, SnowRunner, Enter, and now I can sell my stock one. And now I'm at 1950, which doesn't give me enough to get my snorkel yet. Actually, this is the one that I want, but I can't get it to level 15. So, now, before we leave the garage, let's go to our local map, and let's plan our, our route of attack here. So, we went right over here, around here, and this is where we just went. To plot our path, I'm going to scroll in a little bit. We're going to want to go to this watchtower first. So I'm going to right click on the map. And that's going to add a waypoint. And I'm going to right click over here to add another one. Here. Here. Oh, we went too far. I can hit my middle mouse button and delete the previous one. Or I can hold down on it and it will delete all of them. But we want to leave them on here. So. We get to here, here, and we're going to run this path and go and get this one. Now, you can keep planning out for as many waypoints as you want, but that's going to get us to our first one. See, by having the uh, SnowRunner gearbox on here and the autonomous winch, or the regular winch, the real winch, that gives us the ability to correct ourselves. If we roll over and the engine shuts off, we can just use a winch if we have a winch point nearby and ride ourselves back to our tires and keep on going. And the SnowRunner gearbox is going to give me extra low range gears, which will help me in some of the nasty stuff. You can see the waypoints that we place down are going to be blue dots on the map, and you can see that it's telling us the distance to that next waypoint. So with this truck, I just put it in all-wheel drive and I'll leave it there. Especially with this engine, since we don't have any other engine upgrades. Here's our turn. We just head towards our blue dots and that'll take us right to our next point. Since this truck is pretty much stock, we've only been able to upgrade a couple things on it. Having that SnowRunner gearbox with this weaker engine may come in handy. If we start getting into some areas where we're trying to get up a hill and we just don't have the oomph to get there, then we can just downshift in a low range or a low low and keep on going. And for those who are all into speed when you're on the roadways or more stable ground, you can manually shift into high gear anyway but that will let you go a little bit faster sometimes. I never do that. Um, I don't see the point in it. There are no timed missions that require you to have to try to go f so fast that it uh, requires you doing that. So by placing our waypoints down, though, it does make life a little bit easier and lets us just follow the, the waypoints. Helps keep us from getting lost. Although I have seen people actually use waypoints like this and still manage to get lost. Don't know how. <laughs> but it happens. 
All right, so we're at our next watchtower. Now, why do we care about these watchtowers? First off, we look. We can uncover stuff just by driving through the area. But if we come over here and actually go to this, now if we look into the map, it opens up a much larger area and shows us clearly if there's anything in this area. Now if we were to keep on this road and follow it all the way around, when you get to this location right over here, um, there is a truck that you can recover that is rather difficult to pull out. Um, and I have done it with this truck. Mostly. <laughs> and it was not easy. Uh, but we're not worried about that one. We're worried about our, our um, watchtowers. So now, basically just click your waypoints. Get back out to the main road. Our next watchtower is going to be here. And we can come down here, all the way over to here. And that's going to give us our next waypoint. They're set up for going to our next watchtower. The importance of getting these watchtowers is, is to be able to open up the map more. Plus it gives you experience and it may uncover new missions or it may uncover new upgrades that you couldn't see. Now for season pass holders, like myself, once you go to Lake Cove, which is the first of the two new uh, season pass maps for season one, then you're able to do a mission there to unlock a trailer. That trailer is a radar trailer, which is going to act like a mobile watchtower and all you have to do, and it requires fuel in it, so you're going to have to, to manage your fuel in the trailer as well. But you get about six scans before you have to refuel it. But as you're roaming around the map, you can actually pull up to a location and scan, and it will uncover hidden upgrades, missions, anything that's in that area that you just scanned. It is very, very handy as a uh, way to find things. But we'll, we'll take care of that in another mission because I have a specific way that I like to do that one and it requires using a different truck. It's listed as a scout truck mission because you, you can only pull the trailer with a scout truck. And technically you can just winch pull it with a, a different truck. But we're going to do it with a scout truck. And the truck that I like to use for that particular mission is the International Lodestar 1700. It comes in quite handy for that. You take that truck out with the loading crane. And, yeah, I'm not going to give too many spoilers on that video. But let's just say that it, it's quite easy to do whenever you finally get around to doing it. But we kind of need a little bit of credits so that we can actually get it. You could always just sell your current trucks. No, I wouldn't do that. You are more than welcome to do it all you want, but I'm a, I'm a collector. I like having everything. So, honestly, I, I, I'm not going to sell any of my trucks. Now, I will sell duplicates because we can actually get more than one of these trucks by completing missions. In fact, uh, Smithfield Dam, the next map after this one in this region, is actually going to have a mission to where you, not even a mission, you just drive up next to it and you get the truck free. So you just recover it back to the garage and retain it. Good example of winching here. And it'll be a duplicate. So it's okay to go ahead and sell a duplicate of it, unless you just want to have all the trucks, you know, a garage full of cool stuff. But something like that, I will get it and I will actually sell it because I don't need the duplicate of it. So this just uncovered three new missions, ground highway truck. So there's actually a truck right over there that needs to be recovered and pulled back to the farm. But we'll let it finish doing its thing here. And we'll take a look at the map. 
So, we got a drowned highway truck here, which, you know, we can do it with this truck if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna. Um, you got, you don't, don't get to keep that truck as far as I remember. Um, this one right here, recover it right there to the farm. Also do not get to keep that one. But the next thing to do will be to get back on the road, head back over here, and you can go and grab this one, get this upgrade here, and then go get this watchtower here. There is a hidden truck over here. There is another hidden truck right over here. But I just wanted to show you that um, this is how you're going to set up waypoints. So if you want to use this road right here, I can do this. And just right click to add waypoints. And you can get as many as you want there, or as few as you want. So here you just want to come back up and go around. And once you go up to this one right here, it's a tight trail. But it makes sense since you're already here on this trail. Follow this trail around. Have some fun with it when you get to this intersection here. Make that right or that left here. Follow this trail around. And you'll get to here. Then just go up this hill. Grab this upgrade. And if you feel froggy, you can drive down through here. Um, not really that important. But once you place the waypoint, you can right click on it. Uh, left click on it, rather. You right click on it and you can actually drag it around. Well, what if I just want to skip that and go over here? You can reposition your waypoints however you need to. And again, middle mouse to remove and hold down the middle mouse button to actually remove all of them. And you can hold down the right mouse button to actually rotate the map, which I don't like doing. And left click to uh, drag the map around. All right, we're going to leave it here. And um, if you've got any other questions, stop on my Discord channel and ask away. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you later.